Geography is the Chief Functional Architect of Application Lifecycle Management. We are now at HP Software R&D site where we develop our products. In this short movie, I would like to share with you our Agile methodology as part of our development process for quality center products. Today, it's actually a very good opportunity to do it as we are starting a new iteration planning process. Hi, good morning. Hey, good morning. What's up? Good, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Did you have a chance to review the backlog item for the meeting? I think we need to do some adjustments. Okay, why is that? There is the upgrade verification, which I think we need to push to this sprint and not later on. And do you really think that that's a critical item, that we need to give it a higher priority than what we have right now? That's one of the most important things for our customers. It will become riskier later on. Did you have a chance already to discuss it with the rest of the team? Not yet. Okay, so let's go to the meeting. I think we are already running late. So I guess adding this one would require some customer validation. Do you really think that we can afford it at this point? I think it's critical. We can talk to the QA cost team to see if they can help us. Okay, so let's start to discuss it as part of this meeting and we'll see what are the right adjustments that we should make. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Noi. Let's start with the sprint planning. You can see on the screen the current backlog of the sprint. Uh, Leo, can you say something about our quality? Sure, you know, like we all said in the retrospective, the, the quality is not good enough. So we definitely need to invest more time in our estimates uh, to reflect more testing. And about current backlog list, do you all agree about the content? Actually, there is one item from future sprints that I think we should move to this sprint about the upgrade verification. I think we should do it in this sprint as it will become much more riskier in future sprints rather than do it now. But no, uh, an item that involves upgrade will require a lot of development effort and is very risky. And as we already have too many items for this iteration, I don't see how we can do that. I agree, but I think we can look at the backlog items and see what we can push on to the next sprints that has low priority. Rev, you know very well the content. Can you suggest something to remove? Yes, application installer is on a lower priority, so I think we can push it ahead to the next sprint if you all agree on that. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, I will update the backlog. Leo, just one more question. Do you really think we will have our customers available for validation within this sprint? Actually, we have a great opportunity because some of them are visiting us during the next sprint. So we can leverage them to help okay. us with the testing. Okay, makes sense. So I think we all agree. Thank you very much. Let's go for, Let's go for a walk. Okay, so I, I uh, started testing the Edit Schema XML yesterday and it passed, so I'm gonna move it to done and today I'm gonna take this defect and start testing it. Okay. I'm currently working on the repository mechanism and I hope it will be finished today for okay testing. Mm -hmm. Well, I started working on uh, the upgrade, but I'm afraid it's going to take much more time than we thought because it's a very risky area and every yeah. code change requires a lot of testing. Is there any assistance you can get in order to proceed quickly? Setting the environments for testing the upgrade is taking a lot of time, so that can be a great help. Yeah. help so tomorrow I have a status meeting. I will raise this issue and see if we can get any assistance. Okay. I will update okay. afterward. All right, let me know if you need any help. Oh, Until great. Then. So as you can see on the board, the burndown shows there is a gap between the plan and the progress. Beside this gap, there is a problem of content that is yet not reflected in our backlog. Together, uh, we can see here a problem uh, and a risk on our delivery date of the project. So we need to do the right adjustment in order to meet the timeline, but we need to make sure that the upgrade validation process that we've agreed on at the beginning of the iteration will happen as part of this sprint. Tell, is there any option QA will assist in order to shorten the development time around this area? I guess that we can uh, assist with uh, uh, deploying whatever environment needed in order to uh, get the cycle ready, get the cycle running uh, as soon as possible. Well, at least at my end, I think that it will be quite helpful if we can deliver for you guys some inofficial uh, piece of code and to get uh, feedback. And that will be helpful as well. Yeah, sure, we'll be more than happy to start performance testing on an unofficial build. It will enable us to give a faster response and we will not be surprised. That will be great. Faster response will also enable dev to fix issues earlier and uh, with lower cost. Let's follow up on this 
and see the progress and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we get closer to the plan and solve this uh, gap problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you can see, we pay a lot of attention to our planning process. The fact that we use Quality Center in order to manage and track the iteration help us to make sure that all the relevant stakeholders will be synced along the process. Eventually, that help us to ensure that we deliver the right content on the right time to our customers. Now you will need to excuse me, there's another sprint that needs to start. <laughs>